Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Post Meridian Morning Prayer uh, this afternoon, this morning, right, at uh, the St. Peter Shula Addiction Ministry. My name is Justin Bowman. It is, whew, it is Monday, President's Day today, uh, February 15th, 2021, at, I have to look at my watch again now for the time, look at that, 3.13 p.m., all right. Uh, my head feels like a little bit foggy right now. I don't know why. I, think I ate some. I ate a big breakfast when I got up. Uh, I slept late today again. I got up a little earlier than yesterday. I had a big breakfast. Now I feel kind of sleepy. And even though I had three cups of coffee, my head still feels kind of like ugh, like cloud, like cloudy. You know what I mean? Like foggy. So anyway, all right. I hope everyone's having a good afternoon. Uh, so far, so good here. I got I got a sink. I got a sink loaded dishes ready to go for when I finish. But otherwise, everything's cleaned up, which is good for breakfast. So uh, that's the last thing I got to do. And then I believe it or not, I think I may lay down for like a little bit after that because I don't I don't feel so great. Anyway, though, so welcome to morning prayer this afternoon. <laughs> Let's get right to it. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dearly beloved, we come together in the presence of Almighty God to set forth, our, God our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him, let us sit in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Confiti or Deo Omnipotente, Beate Maria Semper Virgini, Beato Michele Arcangelo, Beato, Beato uh, Ioanni Battiste, Sanctus Apostolis Petro et Paolo, Omnibus Sanctis et Tibi Pater, Qui peccavi nimis cogitatione, verbo et opere, mea culpa, vea culpa, mea maxima culpa, idio precor Beato Mariam Semper Virginem, Beatum Michaelum Archangelum, Beatum Ioannum Baptistum, Sanctus Apostolus Petrum et Paulum, Omnis Sanctus et Te Pater, Orare pro me ad Dominum Deum Nostrum. Miseriator Vestri Omnipotent Deus, et dismissus peccatis vestris, perducat ad vos, perducat vos ad vitam eternum. Amen get more fluid with that <laughs> so anyway though all right Lord open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the rock who saves us. Let us come before God, giving thanks with songs. Let us hail the Lord. Almighty God is the Lord a great king above all gods, in whose hands are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains as well. The sea belongs to God who made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Come and let us bow and bend low, let us kneel before the God who made us. For this is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to God's voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Masset in the desert, when your ancestors put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. 
For 40 years I was wearied of these people, and I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The psalm for this morning is 66 and 67. Ooh, 66 is one of my favorite psalms. Oh, be joyful in God, all ye lands. It's, it's, if I got that, if I got that wrong, it's gonna. Uh, well, you're gonna have to forgive me because it's. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, because it's a different translation. So at least think. Well. In this translation, it's cry out with joy to God all the earth. So let me see if, let me check the Book of Common Prayer. Oh, be joyful in God all the lands is the covered hell. It's one of my favorite songs. Let's see what it says here. Be joyful in God all you, all you lands. Sing the, yep, there you go. All right. All right. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. O oh, sing to the glory of his name, rendering glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous your deeds. Because of the greatness of your strength, your enemies cringe before you. Before you, all the earth shall bow, shall sing to you, sing to your name. Come and see the works of the Lord, of, of, of God, tremendous deeds for the people. God turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river dry shod. Let our joy then be in, our, in the Lord, who rules forever in power, whose eyes keep watch over nations. Let rebels not lift themselves up. O peoples, bless our God. Let the, peop let the voice of God, God's praise resound, of the God who gave life to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You led us, God, into the snare. You laid a heavy burden on our backs. You let foes ride over our heads. We went through fire and, wa and through water, and then you brought us relief. Burnt offering I bring to your house. To you I will pay my vows the vows which my lips have uttered, which my mouth spoke in my distress. I will offer burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of burning rams. I will offer bullocks and goats. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell what God did for my soul. To God I cried aloud with high praise ready on my tongue. If there had been evil in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But truly God has listened, has heeded the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who has not rejected my prayer, nor withheld his love from me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O God, 67 now, O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving health. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit. For God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us blessing till the ends of the earth stand in awe. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
I think I forgot the antiphon again after the uh, invitatory. Oh well. We can do it right now. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. There we go. We did the Psalms for Sunday morning yesterday. Sorry. Good Lord have mercy. All right, well, you know what? We'll do a little bit more. We'll do the one for the, today, too. It's 89, 1 through 18. And we're not doing we're not doing 89 1 through 18. We're doing the whole song, okay? 89, the entire song 89, which is 53 verses. Here we go. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all ages my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure, that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. With my chosen one, I have made a covenant. I have sworn to David, my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord. The assembly of your holy ones proclaims your truth. For who in the skies can compare with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the children of God? A God to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and dreadful, revered above all. O Lord, God of hosts, who is your equal? You are mighty, O Lord, and your truth is, is your garment, and truth is your garment. It is you who rule the sea in its pride. It is you who still the surging of its waves. It is you who trod Rahab underfoot like a corpse, scattering your foes with your mighty arm. The heavens are yours, the world is yours. It is you who founded the earth and all it holds. It is you who created the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon shout for joy at your name. Yours is a mighty arm, O Lord. Your hand is strong, your right hand ready. Justice and right are the pillars of your throne. Love and truth walk in your presence. Happy the people who acclaim such a God, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who find their joy every day in your name, who make your justice the source of their bliss. For you, O Lord, are the glory of their strength. By your favor it is that our, that our might is exalted, for our ruler is in the keeping of the Lord. Our king is in the keeping of the Holy One of Israel. Of old you spoke in a vision. To your friends, the prophets, you said, I have set the crown on a warrior. I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found David my servant, and with my holy oil anointed him. My hand shall always be with him, and my arm shall make him strong. The enemy shall never outwit him, nor the evil ones oppress him. I will beat down his foes before him and smite those who hate him. My truth and my love shall be with him. By, his, by, by my name his might shall be exalted. I will stretch out his hand to the sea and his right hand as far as the river. He will say to me, you are my father, my God, the rock who saves me. And I will make him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. I will keep my love for him always. With him my covenant shall last. I will establish my dynasty forever, make his throne endure as the heavens. If his children forsake my law and refuse to walk as I decree, and if ever they violate my statutes, refusing to keep my commands, then I will punish their offenses with the rod, 
Then I will scourge them on account of their guilt. But I will never take back my love. My truth will, all, will never fail. I will never violate my covenant, nor go back on the word I have spoken. Once for all, I have sworn by my holiness. I will never lie to David. His dynasty shall last forever. In my sight, his throne is like the sun. Like the moon, it shall endure forever, a faithful witness in the skies. And yet you have spurned, rejected, you are angry with the one you have anointed. You have broken your covenant with your servant and dishonored his crown in the dust. You have broken down all his wet walls and reduced his fortresses to ruins. He is despoiled by all who pass by. He has become the taunt of his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his foes. You have made all his enemies rejoice. You have made his sword give, give way. You have not upheld him in battle. You have brought his glory to an end. You have hurled his throne to the ground. You have cut short the years of his youth and have heaped disgrace upon him. How long, O Lord, will you hide yourself forever? How long will your anger burn like a fire? Remember, Lord, the shortness of my life and how frail you have made all human beings. Who can live and never see death? Who can save themselves from the grasp of the grave? Where are your mercies of the past, O Lord? which you have sworn in your faithfulness to David. Remember, Lord, how, how your servant is taunted, how I, how I have to bear all the insults of the peoples. Thus your enemies taunt me, O Lord, mock, mocking your anointed at every step. Blessed be the Lord forever. Amen, amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Reading from the book of Ruth. Chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. <laughs> 
Oh boy, okay. In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land. And a certain man of Bethlehem in Judah went to live in the country of Moab. He and his wife and two sons. The name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife, Naomi. And the names of his two sons were Malan and Kilian. Malin. Killian. They were Ephrathites from Bethlehem in Judah. They went into the country of Moab and remained there. But Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons. These took, Moab, Moab, excuse me, these took Moabite wives. The name of the, of the one was Orpah, and the name of the other was Ruth. When they had lived there about ten years, both Malin and Kilian also died, so that the woman was left without her two sons and her husband. Then she started to return with her daughters-in-law from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab that the Lord had considered his people and given them food. So she set out from the place where she had been living, she and her two daughters-in-law, and they went on their way to go back to the land of Judah. But Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go back, each of you, to your mother's house. May the Lord deal kindly with you as you have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant that you may find security, each of you, in the house of your husband. Then she kissed them, and they wept aloud. They said to her, No, we will return with you to your people. But Naomi said, Turn back, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Do I still have sons in my womb, that they may become your husbands? Turn back, my daughters, go your way, for I am too old to have a husband. Even if I thought there was hope for me, even if I should have a husband tonight and bear sons, would you then wait until they were grown? Would you then refrain from marrying? No, my daughters, it has been far more bitter for me than for you, because the hand of the Lord has turned against me. Then they wept aloud again. Orpah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, I'm going to tell you what, I made another mistake, but you know what? This is what the Lord wanted. So this is like the last, this is actually the last week of, of Epiphany, okay? So I'm using the lectionary for the sixth week of Epiphany. No, because you never know how long it's going to be, okay? Because it's, you know, the, the date of East, all that kind of, everything, there are some movable fees. So it, it varies the length of, of, of the ordinary time after the Epiphany. And so this gives up to eight weeks possible okay well we're 
in the last week of Epiphany, right now before Ash Wednesday starts, and so there's a specific um, entry in here in the lectionary that says last week of Epiphany. Well, you know, that you're supposed to make whatever week you're on if it's the last week you use this. Well, I did not do that. So we're on sixth week, but I think that's an awesome, you know, I don't read much Ruth. And I just think that was good today. That's what the Lord wants to read. So I'm going to stick with this. We're going to do this. That's going to be a little bit different what we're going to do because we can do whatever we want, right? And um, so we're going to have a couple days of reading Ruth before Ash Wednesday. All right? So that's pretty cool. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets, he promised of old. That he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight. All of the days of his life. Our life, sorry. Excuse me. Whew. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from uh, the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 5, 1 through 12. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. 
Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, I, uh, several, uh, a couple months, several months back now, I got on a certain priest for not preaching on the, uh, parable of the unjust steward. Because it's such a, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a very rich parable and it's very complex. And uh, he completely ignored it that day. And I began reading this as the Beatitudes. I began reading this part of the Sermon on the Mount, and I just realize I was like I cannot preach on this today and I'm like wow I just I know I'm not gonna be able to and it's one of my I typically would have so much to say about it but my head is just like not there right now today <laughs> but I will say this and maybe this will start something I don't know maybe it's just it's a thought that came to my mind about you know why are the why are the poor in spirit blessed. What, what is so special about that? You know why? Because they need God. When you have a poverty, when you are not the only person, you know what I mean? When you don't have everything that you need, when you know that you, you are humble enough to know that it is God who provides you what you need. And you need that. When you are poor in spirit and turn to God for spiritual nourishment, that's why. And blessed are those people. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen.
Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificator nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua. Sicut in cielo et in terra, panam nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. So we'll use the proper collect today, even though we're using different readings. How about that? O oh God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the mountain, grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now tomorrow, by the way is Fat Tuesday, which is pancake, uh, it's a, you know, Tuesday is in, Protest in the Protestant, in Protestant circles. I don't know if it is too much in Catholic, but we call it Fat Tuesday. It's, it's usually traditionally like when pancake suppers are held at churches just before we begin Lent. Uh, so tomorrow I may, I don't know, I don't think I have pancakes though here. We'll see. I can run to the, I think I might be able to run to the dollar store and get some pancake mix or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. But I just thought I'd just kind of bring that up because actually pancake suppers at churches before Lent is a pretty cool thing to, you know, I kind of miss that. So, anyway. With all our heart and with all our mind, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For our President Barack and our Vice President Kamala, for our Governor Gavin Newsom, for the Mayor of San Francisco, London, for the Mayor of, of South San Francisco, Rich, and for all in government in San Mateo County, let us pray to the Lord and, and counties everywhere. Government and county, oh my gosh, what a day. I'm so sorry. My head is like... Mm. Excuse me. And for uh, all those in authority in counties and towns and villages and hamlets and cities everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the aged and infirm, for the widowed and orphans, for the sick and the suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed and the destitute, for prisoners and captives, and for all who remember and care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance from all danger, violence, oppression, and degradation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all those of us who suffer from addictions in body, mind, and spirit, that the Lord may deliver us from our distress and uphold us in our recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For my brothers and sisters whose names and intentions I now bring before you in prayer, dear Lord, that you continue to pour out your grace upon them by your Holy Spirit, our comforter, advocate, and guide. Keith, Tina, 
Pat Ford, Dean Barchetto, Ryan, all, all those all, all members of law enforcement, all police officers, Gino, Mike Foley, Donald Trump, Reverend Lisa, Repose of the Soul of Anita Rossmeyer, Erwin Rossmeyer, Diane Darling, Jesse Darling, Jay Darling, Mark Darling, Daniel Fonseca, Repose of the Soul of Brian Sicknick, Tyler Davis, Repose of the Soul of John Judicki, Matthew Russian, Katie and Charlie, Repose of the Soul of Dustin Rasmussen, The Holy Souls in Purgatory. Repose of the Soul of my friend James. Norma Leakey. Dustin Keast. Those living and working at Delancey Street. Repose of the Soul of Keith Lloyd, Mickey McGee, and Nick Lee. Chris Reinhardt. Charles Ratcliffe. Bob Italiano. Jack and Ramit and their family. Jason Hayes, Bishop Mark Andrus, Max Rossmeyer, Jesse and Ben Bowman, Laura and Lydia, Kyle Schofield, Margie Burke, Our Holy Father Pope Francis, Mike Smith, the Reverend and Mrs. Fred and Cheryl Merrick, Repose of Their Soul, Raul and Barbara Laborde, Clifton Barrett, The Monks of St. Gregory's Abbey, Three Rivers, Michigan, Danny Hudson, Joshua and Cara, Peter Steeler, Deborah Hawkins, Lou and Gina Leach, Repose of the Soul of Christine Baker, My Father and Mother, Ann and Sam, June, Drunk Phil, TJ Hostomsky, Janine and Mike Jones, Larry Burdett, Kirk Berry, Travis Carpenter, Ruben Padilla, Aaron Rodgers, Tony Vucetic, Michael Zorns, Jimmy Harder, Keith Watley, Fathers Driscoll and Padota, Dave Maloney, Andrew Marmelstein, Jim White, Clergy with Substance Abuse Issues, Richard Simmons, Coulter and his girlfriend, Michael Mould, Keegan Forbes, Eric Mosnes, Stuart Packman, Bernadette and Stephen Connolly, Brian Connolly, Carrie Connolly, The Repose of the Soul of Howard Connolly, and Junior Irwin. For those named and for their intentions, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. Almighty God, by your Holy Spirit, you have made us one with your saints in heaven and on earth. Grant that in our earthly pilgrimage we may always be supported by this fellowship of love and prayer, and know ourselves to be surrounded by their witness to your power and mercy. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, in whom all our intercessions are acceptable through the Spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants, giving you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, and above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, through the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.
May the Lord bless you and protect you. Amen. May the Lord show you kindness and be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord bestow favor upon you and grant you peace. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordia, Vita Dulcedo et Spes Nostra Salve, Ad Te Clamamos Exilus Filiere, Ad Te Suspiramos Gementes et Plentes, In Ac Lacrimarum Vale, Ea Ergo Advocata Nostra, Illos Tuos Misericordes, Oculos Ad Nos Converte, Et Dies and Benedictum Fructum Ventris Tui, Nobis Post Hoc Exilium Ostende, O Clemens, O Pia, O Dulcis Virgo Maria, Order pro nobis sancta Dei Janitrix, Udini Efficiamo Promissionibus Christi. Sancta Michiel Archangelae, Defende nos in prelio, Contra nequitiam et insidias diaboli esto predit, Prezi, Whoa, <laughs> Presidium, Imperit ili Deus supplices deprecamor tuque, Princeps Miliciae Celestis, Satana Maliosque Spiritus Malignos, Quiad Perditionem Animarum Pervagantor in Mundo, Divina Virtute Infernum Detrude. Amen. Cor Jesu Sacratissimum Miserere Nobis, Cor Jesu Sacratissimum Miserere Nobis, Cor Jesu Sacratissimum Miserere Nobis. St. Paul, St. Elizabeth, and St. Andrew, pray for us. Go about and have a blessed rest of your day. Thank you for joining me in Post Meridian Morning Prayer. And uh, if you like this video, click like. Subscribe to the channel. If, you, if this place does you good, come back and see me soon. If you'd like me to pray for you, I'd love to pray for you. Email me at jtc at acernet.org. Or, and follow me on Facebook because uh, the other half of my ministry, a very good part of it, and especially if you like cooking, because I do a lot of cooking on there and post photos, you can follow me. Um, follow me. I don't accept friends. I have no friends on there. I don't. I got rid of all my friends. You can follow me though, and that's what I do now. So don't send me a friend request. Um, I, or if you do, I just know that uh, I'm gonna ignore it. So, <laughs> so follow me on Facebook, and my Facebook is facebook.com forward slash jtcsf. All right, have a blessed rest of your day and Godspeed.